that the words of my mouth and the, med the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with all our heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and humbly repent for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ. Have mercy on us and forgive us. May we fight in the will and walk in the ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Mighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ and strengthen you in all goodness by the power of the Holy Spirit. Keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips Amen. and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and it will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for be made, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would not unto his hopes. Thirty-seven, part one, and page six hundred and thirty-three. Unison. Do not fret yourself because of evil doers. Do not be jealous of those who do wrong, for they shall soon wither like the grass, and like the green grass fade away. Keep your trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and the fear of its riches. Take delight in the Lord, and he shall give you from the heart's desire. Commit your way to the Lord, and put your trust in him, and he will bring it to pass. And he will make the righteousness as clear as the light, and your dealings as clean as the day. Be still before the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Do not fret yourself over the one who prospers, the one who succeeds in evil schemes. Refrain from anger, live rage at all. Do not fret yourself, it is only to evil. For evil doers shall be cut out, but those who wait upon the Lord shall possess the land. In a little while the wicked shall be no more. You shall search out in the place, and they will not be there. But the Lord shall possess the land, and they delight in abundance and peace. We the plot against the righteous. And I shall them with your feet, and the Lord laughs at the wicked, because he sees that their day will come. The wicked throw the sword and bend their bow, to strike down the poor and needy, to slaughter those who are upright in their ways. Their sword shall go through their own heart, and their bow shall be broken. The rule of the righteous yes, better than great riches of the wicked. For the power of the wicked shall be broken. And the Lord upholds the righteous. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Samuel, chapter 20. David hid in the field. When the new moon came, the king sat at the feast to eat. The king sat upon his seat as the other times, upon the seat by the wall. Jonathan stood while Abner sat by Saul's side, but David's place was empty. Saul did not say anything that day, for he thought, something has befallen him. He's not clean. Surely he's not clean. But on the second day, the day after the new moon, David's place was empty. 
And Saul said to his son Jonathan, Why has the son of Jesse not come to the feast, either yesterday or today? Jonathan answered Saul, David earnestly asked leave of me to go to Bethlehem. He said, Let me go, for our family is holding a sacrifice in the city, and my brother has commanded me to be there. So now, if I have found favor in your sight, let me get away and see my brothers. For this reason, he has not come to the king's table. Then Saul's anger was kindled against Jonathan. He said to him, You son of a perverse and rebellious woman, do I not know that you have chosen the son of Jesse to your own shame and to the shame of your mother's nakedness? For as long as the son of Jesse lives upon earth, neither you nor your kingdom shall be established. Now send and bring him to me, for he surely he shall surely die. Then Jonathan answered his father Saul, Why should he be put to death? What has he done? But Saul threw his spear at him to strike him. So Jonathan knew that it was the decision of his father to put David to death. Jonathan rose from the table in fierce anger and ate no food on the second day of the month, for he was grieved for David and because his father had disgraced him. In the morning, Jonathan went out into the field to the appointment with David, and with him was a little boy. He said to the boy, Run and find the arrows that I shoot. As the boy ran, he shot the arrow beyond him, and the boy came to the place where Jonathan's arrow had fallen. And Jonathan called after the boy and said, Is the arrow not beyond you? Jonathan called after the boy, Hurry, be quick, do not linger. So Jonathan's boy gathered up the arrows and came to his master, but the boy knew nothing. Only Jonathan and David knew the arrangement. Jonathan gave his weapons to the boy and said to him, Go, carry them to the city. As soon as the boy had gone, David rose from the besides the stone heap and prostrated himself with his face to the ground. He bowed three times and kissed. They kissed each other and wept with each other. David wept the more. Then Jonathan said to David, Go in peace, since both of us have sworn in the name of the Lord, saying, The Lord shall be between me and you, and between my descendants and your descendants forever. He got up and left, and Jonathan went into the city. The word of the Lord. Canticle 8 I will sing to the Lord, for he is lofty and uplifted. The horse and its rider has he hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. The Lord has become my Savior. This is my God, and I will praise him. The God of my people, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a mighty warrior. God is his name. The chariots of Aaron and his army has he hurled into the sea. The finest of those who bear armor has been drowned in the Red Sea. The fatherless people have overwhelmed them. They sunk into the depth like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in might. Your right hand, O Lord, has overthrown the enemy. Who can be compared with you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, O glorious holiness? How sudden now, the work of wonders. You stretch forth your right hand. You have swallowed them up. With your constant love, you read the people you redeemed. In your might, you brought them in safety to your holy dwell. You will bring them in and flood them, and the mount of your possession, the resting place you have made for yourself, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, that your hand has established. The Lord shall reign forever and forever. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark, chapter 2. On Sabbath, Jesus was going through the grain fields, and as they made their way, his disciples began to pluck heads of grain. 
the Pharisees said to him, Look, why are they doing what is not lawful on the Sabbath? And he said to them, Have you never read what David did when he and his companions were hungry and in need of food? He entered the house of God when Abiathar was the high priest and ate the bread of the presence, which is not lawful for any but the priests to eat. And he gave some to his companions. Then he said to them, The Sabbath was made for humankind, and not humankind for the Sabbath. So the Son of Man is Lord over even of the Sabbath. Again he entered the synagogue, and a man was there who had a withered hand, they watched him to see whether he would cure him on the Sabbath, so that they might accuse him. So, and he asked, he said to the man who had the withered hand, come forward. Then the, he said to them, is it lawful to do good or to do harm on the Sabbath, to save life or to kill? But they were silent. He looked around at them with anger. He was grieved at their hardness of heart and said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out and immediately conspired with the Herodians against him how to destroy him. The word of the Lord. Canticle 20, Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, and mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. Who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, who suffered at the Irish Island, who was crucified, died, and was buried, who descended to the dead, and on the third day he rose again, he ascended into the heavens, and is seated at the right hand of the Father, he will come again to the earth to live in the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins. The restoration of God and the life of Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray, suffrage A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Close your ministers with righteousness. Let your peace be with God. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. Amen. Lord, keep this nation under your care. Let your way be known upon earth. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Create in us clean hearts, O God. Lord God, Almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that when we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity, and in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our God, whose Spirit guides us into all truth and make us, makes us free, free Strengthen and sustain us as you did your servant Elizabeth, Amelia, Sojourner, and Harriet. Give us vision and courage to stand against oppression and injustice 
and all that works against the glorious liberty to which you call all your children. Through Jesus Christ our Savior, who lives and reigns with you and Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Father, we lift up the Diocese of the Virgin Islands today and in our this is a prayer cycle we pray for St. Luke's in Jackson and Gideon's International. We pray for one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, she may be one, for the Episcopal Church, the Diocese of West Tennessee, Bishop Treby, Kevin Sharon. This is in leadership. We pray for our own parish, St. Andrews. Oh Lord, you continue to bless us and bless our prayer work and study, our inreach and outreach, and our partners. We pray for all who are on our prayer list. We pray that your healing hand may be extended on them. We pray for a miracle of healing on us, O oh Lord, in our congregation, both in body mind and spirit. We pray, O oh Lord, they continue to build us inside out. We pray, O oh Lord, that you continue to teach us the word repentance and conversion. May we grow deeper and deeper into you. Teach us as a congregation what kind of church we need to be. We pray you continue to make us listen to what you have to say. We pray, O oh Lord, that we Pay attention when you speak, when you walk within us. Lord, may we pay attention. We pray for those who are having enormous difficulties, O oh Lord, at this time. Those who are recovering from surgeries, those who are mourning their loved ones, remembering life far. We pray, O oh Lord, that you continue to encourage those who are serving in all areas of parish life. In different capacity, we pray for those who are volunteering each day and a night and out, those who are an emergency staff, the police officers, the firefighters, doctors and nurses, we pray for stamina, we pray for courage, and strength, for those who have given themselves selflessly, oh Lord, I will pray that you continue to be closer to them and protect them to go safely back to their families each night. Here we are the sessions of thanksgivings at this time. Peace of the Lord be always with you. the body and blood of your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, who died for us, atoning for our sins, the sins of the entire world. This 
turn to page 369. The Lord be with you. So with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. God of all power, ruler of the universe, you are worthy of glory and praise. Glory to you forever and ever. At your command, all things came to be the vast expanse of interstellar space, galaxies, suns, and the planets in their courses and this fragile earth, our island home. By your will, we were created and made everything. From the primal elements, you brought forth the human race and blessed us with memory, reason, and skill. You made us the rulers of creation, but we turned against you and betrayed your trust and we turned against one another. At the mercy of all your sins, Again and again you called us to return. Through prophets and sages you revealed your righteous law, and in the fullness of time you sent your only son, born of a woman, to fulfill your law, to open for us the way of freedom and peace. By his blood he reconciled us, Christ was with you. And therefore we praise you, joining with the heavenly chorus, of prophets and apostles and martyrs and with all those in every generation who have looked to you in hope to proclaim with them your glory in their unending name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son of the Christ. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son of the Christ. And so, Father, we who have been redeemed, redeemed by him and made a new people by water and the Spirit, now bring before you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be the body and blood of Jesus Christ our Lord. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread, said a blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his friends and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, gave thanks, and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Remembering now his work of redemption and offering to you his sacrifice of thanksgiving. We celebrate his death and resurrection as we await the day of his come. Lord God of our fathers, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, open our eyes to see your hand at work in the world about us and deliver us from the presumption of coming to this table for solace only and not for strength, for pardon only and not for renewal. Let the grace of this holy communion make us one body, one spirit in Christ, that we may worthily serve the world in his name. We say, Lord, be known to us in the name of the world. Accept his prayers and praises, Father, through Jesus Christ, our great High Priest, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, your Church gives honor, glory, and worship from generation to generation. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. To the gifts of God, for the people of God. By faith, the Let us pray. Eternal God, the Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace, and grant us strength from her, the love of serving, the brightness and singleness of all, in Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of God, which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Bless the Lord, Alleluia, Alleluia. Praise to God, Alleluia, Alleluia.